Welcome to Backstory with G, where we learn the stories behind the scenes. G would like to welcome special guests Zach and John here on Backstory. We are three of the five on the dive team. We froze a lot together, didn't we, Zach? It was cold. It was cold. And y'all already know Big John. He's been on a couple times. John and I have been talking back and forth about all of our memories, and Zach is just actually seeing some of the pictures in front of us of what all we did. Zach, what do you remember? What stands out in your mind? Well, it was cold. And it was some of the first dry suit diving that I'd ever done, right? First day. Yeah. <laughs> first day. You know, but it came kind of natural. It was, uh, it was good. You know, I was excited because I I didn't think it would take this long, but, you know, we knew then that this was going to be the next uh, vehicle that would go to the moon. Yeah. This has been, what, how long ago? 17 years. 17 years. 17 years ago. It's, we look a lot younger in those pictures. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> John, what sticks out to you? My stomach. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, You're yeah. about the I'm trip. talking about the I'm talking about the actual project right there. Well, let me go back to what Zach said. It was cold. It was so cold. It was it <laughs> was cold, cold. Yeah. And that actually what I remember was those dry suits got here the day before. That's for right. every one of us. That was the first time we ever had them in the water. I remember the security. When we pulled up, they had the MPs at the bottom and they had a list and you had to do your name and all that stuff. And I'm like, what are we doing? You know, I mean, I have no idea. What, what are we into right here? I'm escaping, this is not yeah, my exactly. car. <laughs> you know, and we had been to that place a million times. We'd done a lot of hours in there. We pull up to the top of the hill and that's when you could see the crane and you could see the actual vehicle and all that stuff. And it is interesting, 17 years, and that thing's actually on the way to the moon now. The capsule weighs 15 tons, and when it hit the hit the water on the steepest one, what you actually shot right there, it was doing 298 miles an hour. It went from zero to 298 to zero in, at three tenths of a second. That's how much speed, 80 Gs at the top. But on the bottom where the beds were, it was only six Gs. So well, that's I pretty interesting. I couldn't stand ADGs. Well, no, not many people can. I think process-wise, we uh, we sort of tried to limit our time in the water, right? It was like, we'd yeah. get in the water just before it's time to do the thing. Yes. And get right back out, you know? And then, I, I think we were going in just in teams of two. That's right. Right, and then and you had a safety diver, <clears> and, <throat> and we'd go in, boom, get that shot, come out, because it took them quite a while, actually, between Yes. That'd yeah, I remember. Get it up, they test it, check it, and all yeah, that yeah. Kind of yeah. stuff. And we'd get over in the heater. Well, and so we had a, a rope that tied us to the bottom to get the right height because we knew where it was coming down. And then, did we have a rope to our back that kept us from getting too close? No. Remember. No, the rope that was coming up, we actually hooked to it. Yeah. I mean, there was. So a, the engineers we, told us, they said, when this thing drops, it's going to go X deep in the water max. Yes. And I don't remember what that number was. I'm thinking maybe six feet or something. And we're like, okay. So we watched it from the side the first yep. time they did it, and sure enough, they were right about the depth. And then we were a little more comfortable with how it was going to behave. So, yeah, I think we put a bunch of cinder blocks, was it not, on the bottom? Something very yeah. heavy. Yep. And it was directly beneath the drop zone, and we ran a line up to it. And we, uh, I believe, positioned the diver 10 feet under the max depth, depth. Of, the, of the capsule. <laughs> and the only way you knew it was coming is you saw that rope go limp. And you were yeah. like, and exhale? Because, and yeah, you, know, you were fixing to get slapped. Yeah, I remember when we did the underneath shot, shot, you know, essentially being on my back like this, holding the camera and just waiting, right? And you had to hold that pose for a while. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And it Because was, you had to let it hit, swing, and then sort of settle back. Because yeah. we had to get all of the motion to see yeah. what. <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was cold. Yeah. Yeah. All three of us now. One, two, three. Yeah, it was, was cold. cold. It, was, it cold. was so cold. <laughs> I remember that they had a special latch mechanism for dropping it at the top. Because, you know, dropping something without interfering with its trajectory is tricky, right? And so there's a very special latch that they could pull and it would drop it without putting any side loads yeah. on it. Oh, so it would wow. drop yeah, you know, so totally it, free to grab. I was probably more focused on our team because this was the team that when we first got started doing the videos and all of the, you know, the underwater filming part, when we got ready to do that, we went out and found these five guys and they were all good divers, they were safe divers. But you know, when you're videoing 
animals underwater or depth underwater or just anything that you get into, you got to have a team that you don't have to worry that somebody's yeah. going to get into problem. And we had a good team. This was, I think, for us kind of the culmination of that first phase of our being a group together. So, it, you know, it, that that's what I really liked about it. And to watch everybody floundering around, kind of, okay, where do I put my foot? <laughs> Stick it down the leg of it. Yeah. Make sure you keep your feet down, because if you ever got your feet up, you were gone. <laughs> now zip it up, it's not a wetsuit. <laughs> I don't even remember us getting like to eat there. We had no, to no, though, because no. we were there for like three weeks. Well, it was a perfect site to do it from the diver standpoint for sure because when they had that excellent dock there with the ladders and the steps, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? And it all was of just, it, yeah. yeah. It was perfectly set up for all, all that stuff's going to work well for the for Lockheed Martin as well, you know? They had their crane positioned on the ledge, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And their trucks. And the solid rock <clears throat> ledge. Yeah. yeah. It's funny, we were working on a, a spaceship there, testing a spaceship, yeah. and I felt a little bit like an astronaut in a dry suit. You know, <laughs> yeah, you, you put did. it on. I mean, it was far. I've never worn a space suit. And you know, as much time as we had spent in there, that was the clearest we ever saw that water. Our eyes as cold as it was. It, yeah. Yes, it was yeah. so cold, and it was clear as a bell. All the algae was stone cold <laughs> dead at that time. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, you, you jump in, you go, hmm, there's something bad wrong here. <laughs> They gave us a poster. No. We all have, the poster actually know. hangs up in my office. Huh. It's got the whole group. It's got a lot of better. Oh, like a picture with all of us? Yes, yeah, it's I've a full the, blown I've poster. I've got this somewhere. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't put my hands on it, but I'm sure I've got it. Well, I appreciate you guys coming out. This was a lot of fun.